Hi friends, today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make Windows 11 look and feel like any version of Mac OS that you want. Yes, yeah, another customizing video on the channel and yeah, this is going to be our first video for 2023 and without further ado, let's go. I, kn I know that many of you viewers out there like love Mac OS and um, yeah, I made a tutorial about how to install Mac OS on real on your Windows PC. It will be up in the cards, but yeah, it, not all devices on your computer may work, you know. And but we can do crazy stuff just to make the look, you know, because why not? And yeah, let's start. First of all, you want to create our store point. You want to select your drive. Click on configure, turn on system protection and give it some size in here and then click on and, and just click on OK and then click on create and just type the restore point and let it create. Once this was created, click on close and click on OK. Now open up the fold this my folder and these are the files that we will need for today's video and now let's get the dock now here is the nexus dock 22.7 here are the all the download links for all the files and the icons and the wallpapers are uploaded to google drive don't worry about it select the zip file and click on extract all and then click on extract and now open up the folder and run the setup Yeah, these files are from 2019 because, yeah, I started this project. And now select the real language and click on OK. Accept the agreement and click on Next. Click on Next and click on Next and click on Install. This is going to install the, the Mac OS dock I'll show you up here. And in my case, I'm just going to make Windows 11 look like Mac OS. Ventura. And now we want to launch the Nexus. Click on finish. And now the dock should appear somewhere. There we go, initializing. And here is it, the Nexus dock. And and here we can just open up the start menu, which is actually kind of cool. But what we are interested in is just open up the Nexus in here. Right click and just go to preferences. And here we have like a lot of options in here. And now go to advanced. And now we have like here is backup of all configuration settings. Click on and open it. And it doesn't matter. And this is great. And we have ourselves a dock in here. And ignore the fact that they look on the Spanish language to me. But we'll just have to manually change like every single icon from here. Now I'm going to just apply my theme in here. And apply. And here we want to just go to the start menu. Cortana is not here. So we want to just manually change everything or remove these things. Which, yeah, it isn't that nice at all. I don't even like know <laughs> exactly what is what, but yeah. Let's change these things. Alright, so once you have customized everything in here, so here is the start menu, I'll just rename this thing. And this will open up our start menu. So here is our dock. In here, like, yeah. What's this? In 
and once you change all the icons and find everything that you want now we can open up our folder in here and we can change the cursors open up the folder and now here is the install.inf file right click it and install now I wanna open up settings Go to personalization, go to themes, go to mouse cursor, and here select the El Capitan. Yes, and there we go. Have ourselves Mac OS cursors. And here you wanna install Rainmere. This is important. Now choose your language, the standard installation, it'll do the job. And let's run Rain Meter. And here we can just like like unload all these skins if we want to, which I'm going to unload all of these. And here, open up like the folder again, and run the Yosemite menu bar. And yes, and we, we're going to install it. It's going to give us like the top, here the top bar, which will show up here again for Mac OS. And here, like, it's going to open up like start menu. You can just use like user or the Windows, the normal one and now we wanna like hide all the icons in here and time to change the wallpapers and let's just open up the folder again there file explorer here let's open up the wallpapers folder and choose any of these wallpapers so I'm going to choose for example the Mac OS Ventura and just set it as desktop background I prefer dark mode so go in here I'll just go to like the like themes in here and just choose dark mode Ow. I guess it looks actually kind of cool the, the clock is like kind of bugged which is actually kind of weird and here we need to install some something else and here like open up your browser and just download launchpad because we will kind of need that to like launch our stuff I'm going to remove the start menu from my dock and just download it I'll provide a link to that in the description as well. And when I download like the X launchpad, there it is. I'll provide a link to it in the description and we wanna download it. There we go. Download now. There we go, it is now loading. And I wanna open up a new folder. And now I wanna extract the files. And I wanna open it up and run the setup. I'm gonna install it next install. And we need to launch it. And there we go. It's, going to sh it's showing all our like, like yeah. We need to. We need to continue with the free version and. And. Launch. 
close it off here. And yeah, this is basically it. There's the X launch button. Just need to pin it to like the um to my dock. And there we go, this is basically it. And here is our launch pad, can just launch everything that we need from here. And yeah, that was... Yeah, doesn't this look like Mac OS to you? And if you want more Windows customizations videos like this one, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that was all for today's video. If this helped you, make sure you have liked this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!